Welcome to ASL Storytelling. Hello, I'm Rose. This is my sign name. I work at the Prince George's County Memorial Library System. Today, I'd like to show you a story. Are you ready? Let's get started. Giraffes Can't Dance by Giles Andrea and Guy Parker Rees. Gerald was a tall giraffe whose neck was long and slim, but his knees were awfully crooked and his legs were rather thin. He was very good at standing still and munching shoots off trees. But when he tried to run around, he buckled at the knees. Now every year in Africa, they hold the jungle dance where every single animal turns up to skip and prance. And this year, when the day arrived, Poor Gerald felt so sad, because when it came to dancing, he was really very bad. The warthog started waltzing, and the rhinos rock and rolled. The lions danced a tango that was elegant and bold. The chimps all did a cha-cha with a very Latin feel. And eight baboons then teamed up for a splendid Scottish reel. Gerald swallowed bravely as he walked toward the floor. But the lions saw him coming, and they soon began to roar. Hey, look at clumsy Gerald, the animals all sneered. Giraffes can't dance, you silly fool. Oh, Gerald, you're so weird. Gerald simply froze up. He was rooted to the spot. They're right, he thought. I'm useless. Oh, I feel like such a clot. So he crept off from the dance floor and he started walking home. He'd never felt so sad before so sad and so alone.
Then he found a little clearing. And he looked up at the sky. The moon can be so beautiful, he whispered with a sigh. Excuse me, croft a cricket, who'd seen Gerald earlier on. But sometimes when you're different, you just need a different song. Listen to the swaying grass and listen to the trees. To me, the sweetest music is those branches in the breeze. So imagine that the lovely moon is playing just for you. Everything makes music, if you really want it to. With that, the cricket smiled and picked up his violin. Then Gerald felt his body do the most amazing thing. His hooves had started shuffling, making circles on the ground. His neck was gently swaying. His tail was swishing round. He threw his legs out sideways and he swung them everywhere. Then he did a backward somersault and leapt up in the air. Gerald felt so wonderful, his mouth was open wide. I'm dancing, I'm dancing, I am dancing, Gerald cried. Then one by one, each animal who'd been there at the dance arrived while Gerald boogied on and watched him quite entranced. They shouted, it's a miracle. We must be in a dream. Gerald's the best dancer that we've ever, ever seen. Hey, how'd you learn to dance like that? Please, Gerald, tell us how. But Gerald simply twirled around and finished with a bow. Then he raised his head and looked up at the moon and the stars above. We all can dance, he said, when we find music that we love. ASL Vocabulary Africa Giraffe. Rhino. Monkey. Cheetah. Elephant. Moon. Tree. Grass. Music. Dance.
Are you ready for our color of the day? Which color do you think it is? Yep, it's blue. How many blue items do you count on this page? One, two, three, four. That's right, there are four blue items. Throughout your day, you can look around and count how many blue things are in your home. Here's an early literacy tip. Read often, read together. You know that reading books with your child has many benefits, but letting your child see you read is beneficial too. This shows your child that reading is a normal part of everyday life, and this may make your child want to learn to read even more. I hope you had fun today. Remember, if you enjoy magazines, books, and programs, make sure that you check out our website. The address is www.pgcmls.info. Thank you.